Hi, everybody. Hey, guys. Welcome to Fashion and Fuckboy. Season two. Episode, episode four? Or three. No, definitely four. Four. Episode four. Season two, bitches. What y'all know about that? We reach. We are professionals. We are ready to like t- tell Weldy Williams what to do. Right. We ready to get some sponsors and take some money. Mm-hmm. We have a sponsor today. Oh, yes, that's right. Today we have a sponsor, We Chantel. have a sponsor today. So today's show has been brought to you by, I call him Bronin. Cause I call him Boxer. Yeah. We he, rename people all the time. Yeah, we rename him. I don't even know what his, what's your real name? Fox. Um, Fox? That's what Matt said. He's, no, it's Ralphie. Oh, his real, real name. His real, real name is Ralphie. And he's taking on the challenge to train us. So his company's called Checkmate Boxing. And we're going to put up the flyer on our page. And he is sponsoring the first segment. And he says he trains um, men, women, and children. Yes. And oh, and you... boys are free 8 to 16, girls 12 to 16. I'm 16. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ralphie. <laughs> Low battery. <laughs> That's Jesus working on my sit in. So, yes, Checkmate Boxing, and his number is 1917, Kalia Voice, 957 8258. Are you on Instagram? Who? What's your Instagram? What? Ralphie what? Ralphie Nye. Uh, Ralphie Nye. R-A-L-P-H-Y and the number nine. That is his Instagram. Check him out. But we will um, put the information up at the end of this for you guys to get it. So, yes, that is our sponsor for this episode. And he's going to take on the challenge of training us. (laughs) Good luck. Because these cheeseburgers is not gonna stop being eaten. Play, y'all gonna get the summer buddy. How that meme go? Y'all get the summer buddy. I give you. <laughs> Fuck everybody. <laughs> I think I'm gonna break it down and just buy mine. Fuck that. I'm going to go to Colombia and buy me a summer body. I'm gonna go to Colombia. It's not working out. It's not working. It's not working. And I, and I think that people that what what work what. Oh, oh lies. lies. I thought you said guys. Right. I'm like, what? So what we do? <laughs> oh God, we're in trouble. And she's a cancer. So we like <laughs> You saw we froze? We're, so scared. we're like, oh shit. <laughs> we're so afraid. <laughs> we're in trouble. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get into the show. So fashion. yeah, fashion. We're gonna talk about let's talk about the trends for spring and summer. Of course. Oh my god. Give you guys a little, you know, help in that department. Math is so distracting. He's over here. He's not over as here where he's supposed to be. What we're gonna be wearing, or what you should be wearing, or what needs to be worn. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, um, oh, Marky looks so cute here. So, um, what's happening for spring and fashion right now? I'm noticing a lot of feathers. Neon is really good right now. Claire heels, which I've been telling y'all about. The lucite heels. The yeah. lucite heels. You is have been in... saying that for a long time. I have. Yeah. I have. So everyone's finally caught up to you. Finally, but you know, that's the thing. That always happens. That's always, always what happens. I'm always way ahead of the trends. But loose side heels, because they go with everything. That's true. They do go with everything. I used to think they were kind of strippery, but now. And who don't want to be a stripper today? That's like gold. I feel like I can't hear myself. Because math didn't do it. Math. <laughs> Seriously, bro. I can't. I can't hear myself. I can't hear myself either. It's okay. Listen, it's I need to stand on too. It's hot. I got on a. I got on a. Um. <laughs> fucking um. What's the name of this material? She got on latex. Yeah, people. latex Show skirt. Show the latex. Listen. Show the latex. Uh, all that ass. All that latex. All this ass and this latex is listen. I ain't gonna hold sweating. you. She's sweating. She's Right. Real talk. I'm keeping it ever so real. <laughs> I need that fan on, bro. Oh, my God. I don't God. want to take a funky pussy back home to my fiance. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, I can hear right, myself so now. Yeah. You can hear yourself now? Hello? Yeah, much better. Much better. Okay. All right. So, yeah, like we were saying, the, the trends for spring and summer right now, a lot of feathers, yes. neon, the loose sight heels. Um, people went to, like, the scarf prints. 
Oh, the dresses, right the now. scarf yeah. print dresses are definitely mm -hmm. a good look. You, it's almost like easy pieces. That's what it is. It's yeah. all about easy this season. You think so? Yeah, because you know the scarf print dress, that's a one, one, two, three. And then you put that on. Well, I mean, scarf print heels. can be anything. They have a scarf. They have scarf print, you know, the dresses, they have the, the shirts. It's not just like scarf print and that's it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So if you put on a scarf print shirt, it doesn't matter because that's a print and it's so much already. You put on oh, a simple okay. pant. Yeah, I put guess that's true. If you put on a scarf print skirt, a simple top, and then you're good to or go. Or you can Even match it up. Yeah, or you could match. Either yeah. way you go, it's good to go. Or like we did today. We did our sexy. At our the bottom. Super latex skirts at the bottom that you can find on thefashionaddicts.com. Yes, ma'am. Oh, and then we put baggy tops up top. Right, so you have this loose button down that we also sell on thefashionaddicts.com. Yes. Or you could do an oversized hoodie with your sexy. So if your sexy is in the bottom, if you're tight, if your provocative is in the bottom, then you want to do loose and fun up top. If your sexy and provocative is up top, if you're doing a tight top, a tube top, titties out, Boobs up. Yeah, you can't be a full prostitute. You know what I mean? You gotta be. And yeah. especially not you gotta before. Break it up. Not before nine thirty. You gotta let the sun set. Whatever right. time that is. Once sun set, you could be a full hoe. Cause the freaks come out at night. And it's the not in time. Out at night. And it's the not in season. Of, the freaks come out. It's not in season. It's the most anyway. wonderful <laughs> time of the year. <laughs> Boys, right? Hell yeah. But fuck boys and fuck girls. We're All right, ready. What else um, tie dye. I think you had mentioned that. I did. And I was like, really? I know. And I felt that. I felt that tension. I'm still not into tie -dye. it, but people are wearing it. I it love was down tie dye. The people are really into it right now. The tie dye, biker shorts. Now they've stepped it up to it's not only just biker shorts, but like textured biker shorts. Yes, that's true. So I think like Prada was doing one. Not that we're here for Prada because we're still not. But yeah, we have this is an example. But Gucci, you know, we don't buy. We're not with Gucci either. Anyway, yes. I told you I spoke to the you. People. I'm not. This you. You sold your soul for a steak dinner that I got none of. It was delicious. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed. It was okay, Gucci is still canceled. <laughs> I will stick Ti on you. Okay. <laughs> don't stick Ti. That's my friend. Um, tool, which I, you know, I'm a girly girl. Ending. So I'm all about tool. Oh, the Wi-Fi probably. This Wi-Fi is real wonky. I'm gonna have to get your Wi Fi together. Your Wi Fi is just very temperamental. Oh, so keep him. Keep him. Never, keep him stay there. It's never his fault. <laughs> He's a man. It's never their fault. They're so perfect. All right, so I'm into tool. Yeah. Oh. Because you know, I'm a girly girl, so I'm all about that. I'm Jamaican, so I'm into tool too. Oh, yes. Let's tool it out. Yes. Doing the most. Yes. All 2019. Doing, doing the First most. First of all, all summer 2019, we're going to be doing the most. I don't They're going to be like, Marie, you extra. I'd be like, read all about it. Is that this hip hop I'm here? Extra. You know, like, this is, what was that? I'm engaging. I'm, I'm, in, I'm into my, you know, urban, my urban bag today. I'm in my urban bag. I was listening to 21 Savage in the car on the way here. You saw me? I was like, yes. <laughs> Right. Extra, extra read all about it. Okay. Fanny packs are still on. Of course. My I, mom finally broke down. She wants them for Mother's Day. I was like, really? My mother didn't tell me what she want yet. Okay. She's a mess. My mother's a hot bougie. Man. Hot mess. Our moms are annoying. So all, all moms. Exactly. All moms are annoying, but they're the best. Exactly. We love all moms. Let's talk about uh, Mother's Day and you know fly milfs. And what are we gonna get? Like, if you have a fly milf mom, like, what if your mom is fly? What are you getting your mom? Fly shit. What's fly shit? Like fashionable moms. Like, all right, let's keep it simple. I mean, I don't think that if you're already into fashion, you already know what your mom like. She's already into fashion. That's true. That's not hard. You don't want to get my mom the clear Lucite Prada bag. Oh, you said no Prada. She's going to love that. No Prada. Or we can get her the Fashion oh, Addicts Bon Voyage bag. Now. For the low, low price of $50 that's for the right. large and $40 for the small, you yourself can also be a owner of the Fashion Addicts Bon Voyage bag. Kalia voice. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you know why people are really into it for spring or something right now too? The um, Jaquima's little small mini bags. What is that name? I don't even know how to pronounce it. I don't want to say it wrong, and I don't want to sound ignorant. Jaquemus, Jaquemus. All right, I don't know how to pronounce it. Somebody correct I'm me. Falling. It's spelled. What's, happening? <laughs> What's going on tonight? This is so fun. This is the most fun I ever had here before. <laughs> I can't. I feel like you have more to, more than me to drink. It's not, 
so that's why I'm falling. Maybe. <laughs> I made this. The liquor in me made it. I'm, Probably. Because I'm heavier now, right? That's they know. That's see, what it is, you know. Right? No. All right. I'm not sure how to pronounce it because I don't want to mispronounce it. So this. But the mini bags. I'll show you a picture. Show Let's, me a picture. But while while you look for the picture, let's carry on. Okay, I'm listening. With other MILF moms that we love. Other MILF? What, what MILFs did we mention? We mentioned my mother. <laughs> the queen. The queen, <laughs> the queen of the MILFs? The queen of the MILFs. Okay. Okay, have you met my mother? Don't tell my mother that. First, yeah, your mom is fly too. <laughs> but she's not as fly as my mother. Oh, don't get it. You, you tried it. She's not. I'm not going to hold you. Okay, you, ain't, you, you tried it. I'm not gonna hold you. Okay. Challenge. Challenge. <laughs> no, but okay. Let's do a celebrity moms. Like, we're gonna gonna do three, so we keep it simple, we to the point, and okay. we keep it moving. I'm ready. So my top three, and you give your top three. I thought you're gonna steal my top three, but go ahead. Let's see. Kim Kardashian. That's not her. That's not her name. Kim West. Okay. Ready for me? Are no, you, my, a you know what? No, it's my bad. I thought you were talking about Kris Jenner, because I be forgetting Kim's a mom. <laughs> I thought you meant to say. I, I thought you meant to say Chris Jenner. I'm dead ass. For real? Yes, not Chris Jenner. That's the name, right? Yeah, Chris Jenner. Yeah. That's what I thought you were talking about. Not Jenner anymore. So that's why. My whatever. bad. Well. Yeah, but that's yeah. still her married name. Hannah, there. So Kim Kardashian, Ciara, and my mother. But my mother's first. I said her already, right? Really, those are your top three. Diana Ross. That's it. No, I'm lying. Madonna. Can you calm down? <laughs> You're very excited. I am. Can I be excited in peace? This is my plat. This is our platform. I could be as excited. You can be excited as if you want to. Hello. Look, this is exactly what I'm talking I don't about. know who that is. Okay. You don't know anything though. So, so say it right then. This guy okay. don't know the name of me now. I don't know what's going on though. That's right. Yeah, exactly. It don't count if you don't. Know <laughs> How? So say the name. So we I know just what you're talking it. about. <laughs> my thing is, if I do say it, are you gonna know what I'm referring no. to? No. Oh, exactly. But, but, you but say everyone it wrong. else that knows Jaquemus, Jaquemus. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> How to pronounce well, it? Well, anyway, let me see. So, what's your three? Um, Tracy Ellis Ross. Ooh, if she's not a mom, doom, you're doom, lying. Doom, 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 doom. Oh wow, I didn't know that. That's Mass Woman. Oh, I love her too. I said Diana Ross. We can Ross. fight over her. He posts her everywhere. He posts her every. He's like, no, we're not, we're not gonna fight. Let's no. gonna take her. Go ahead. So I didn't know she wasn't a mom. She's not a mom. That's dope. I'm all about it. I wrestle daily with whether or not I should have kids. Because they're expensive, they fucking bust up your pussy, and then, then they, they want to sass you. The audacity. They want to grow up and disrespect you. They're expensive. As fuck. And they're getting more expensive as the time flies. Because, you know, now we have to have, like, an Instagram baby. Right. So now they have to be And they have to have iPads and laptops at the age of 11. Thank you. Not even younger than that. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, who else we got? Three moms, Marie. Oh, They're I struggling. have three because I didn't do the Tracy. She's not a mom. Um, let me think. Who is a mom that I fuck with? Oh, Beyonce. Okay. She's getting better. Remy. She's a mom I'd like to fuck. Really? I'm fucking with Remy. Her style has evolved. Her body is on point. You like give Remy a feel up? No, I wouldn't. I'm lying. Yeah. But I do fuck with her, though. Mm-hmm. We talked about that already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no. Who else we got? I'll take, really I'll, I'll take Chris this. Jenner. Fuck it. I wasn't really thinking about it. And I don't really know who's a mom who's not a mom. I'm, I'm thrown off from the fact that Tracy don't got kids. <laughs> Cardi. Thanks, Delora. Cardi. Thanks, Delora. Cardi. Her baby's like J-Lo. newborn and shit. And J-Lo. J-Lo. J-Lo is a good mom, too. Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey. I love Mariah Carey. Scary. Wait what a minute. What about my uh, Mary? Mary don't got kids. Oh. All right. So I'm yeah, we dragging. <laughs> I'm dragging. What's what, we, what else we got? <laughs> I'm what over it. Got, I'm over the moms. <laughs> Sorry, y'all day until next yeah. Sunday. <laughs> We're not moms, so right. let's do. Sorry. Ooh. Right. Speaking of, of Remy course Ma. we are. Sure. So we're gonna do that during the math. This fan. I'm not playing. I'm sweating. <laughs> Shine. Sorry. All right. So let's get into our hot topics. I'm so confused by you thinking that Madonna's a, a hot mom. She's gross. First of all, she's a Leo and we're twins. And have you seen her ass? Is that a good or bad thing? She looks horrible. We're not talking about her body. We're talking about her style. A MILF is a mom you want to fuck. I don't even remember 
And her style is trash but too. She's it, like she's, on some bohemian shit. She's now. my twin, so fuck everybody. But fuck you, fuck you, you, you fuck can't just be biased and Why? whatever. Why? Because <laughs> she's a, a Leo. Why? She's a fucking fly she's mom. A, she's not a Leo. She's my twin. Anyway. Thank you. So speaking of Remy, <laughs> apparently she got arrested. Allegedly. No, well, she turned herself in. Yes. It's not alleged. She turned herself in. Oh. Allegedly she had the altercation. Yes. And she With some no name. Girl, Britney, Britney from Love and Hip Hop. My thing is with this new generation that we're in. Okay, if Remy did it, I feel like she should be set free, because my free Remy, free Remy always. But my thing is with a scenario like that, and just with the like I said before, the generation that we're in. If you could talk your shit, back it up. Fuck you talking all that shit for the new and generation. The new bro. generation likes to argue. They like to argue. They, they like to fucking the, listen. We be going on live arguing with each other. You know, that's a thing. Like, if you got beef, they'll go live on Instagram and argue via Instagram. You ever seen that? Mm-hmm. I've seen it. That's you what they're doing now. That's what these young niggas are doing. I'm never in fights no more. I'm not doing that. So, my, and you know, Ray Ma is old school. So, bitch, if you're going to talk shit, you got to be able to back it up. I mean, is that what and happened? Then, she talked shit? Yeah, you saw the show. No, I mean. So, that's like a continuation no, 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 no. of the show. That's not why they fought. I don't that's know not. why they fought, but oh, I know okay, that you're Brittany, in general. She's a, she's a big talker. Okay. So in her being a big talker, eventually a person that pops off is going to snap. And that's probably why Papoose was like on the show, like, listen, you can't be around certain people because you have sh- more to lose than them. And you can be triggered easily. Well, what happened? You know what happened, Clea? Why they um, had that alleged altercation? Okay. Yeah, I Why think I heard that too. Over the I think what I heard was that that um they were out somewhere and something happened where Brittany claims that she must have stood up for Remy's daughter uh-huh. and um Remy's daughter came home and told Remy that's not what happened. And so when she saw Brittany out, apparently they had words and then apparently, allegedly, Remy hit her or struck her or whatever. And then Brittany, since she's got stitches, called the police. Mm. And the thing is, even with that. I feel like Remy in the position that she's in and where she's going in her career, everybody needs to handle their situations like Beyonce. Don't respond. I agree. Why are you responding to Britney? But listen, there's only one Beyonce. Why are you responding to Britney? No, we're fucking Beyonce, bitch. We don't respond. We're good at that. No, that's true. But we had to learn that. Oh, that's true. We had to learn that. And we had to fight ourselves. That's true. Remember the divorce of 2013? Remember I wanted to go and knock on that bitch's door? Jesus. They need to talk me down. Oh, Lord. We come a long way, we honey. Come a long we come, way. We cops. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Get me in my bag right now. Don't fucking sorry. take me what back is there. Up with this chair? <laughs> <laughs> Switch chairs with somebody. Ooh, wow. She got to sit up, stand up, and what? A straight up, stand up for your rights? Stand up for your rights. Oh my God, this is so much fun. I'm so glad I'm not in that chair because I'd be in my insecure feelings like, it's me. I'm weighing it down <laughs> with my big old ass. <laughs> I don't feel sorry for I don't feel sorry for women with big asses and hips. I know. Sorry. Whatever. Poor you. Yes, bitch. Poor me. <laughs> <laughs> poor you and your hips. You don't know my struggles. Yeah, that's nice. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Let me fix what I got. <laughs> Everybody wants a big ass, a fat ass, and fucking thighs until it's time to go denim fucking shopping, Nobody jean shopping. Denim. It's summertime. People wear jeans it's all that, year round. What are you it's talking that about? Season. Oh I'm my god. So, <laughs> you forgot the song already? I never knew it. Anyway, <laughs> you made it up. It's not made up, Marie. Anyway, so city listen. City girls. But, oh, yeah. I fuck with city girls. <laughs> Sidebar, I fuck with city girls. I didn't make it up. But anyway, so yeah. Um, Remy, I hope that everything works out because this is my thing. If that That's is the case that, that happens, you a bitch. You a pussy because... Everything that Rem got going on right now, you really gonna send that woman to jail? She well, just know. had a baby. All right, so now let's play a little different. If you got punch in your eye, you a hole at. That's old school. Hole that. That's old school. Nobody, nobody thinks like that anymore. Like with the uh, Atlanta Housewives when Portia punched Kenya in the eye. Kenya talks the most shit in life. But they're grown. So what? And when and when Portia Kenya had the shit in her face, like yes. Bitch. I was there. Yes. That's all right. I was right there. You push up in my fucking. Face. I'm punching you. No face. facts. Big facts. But that's probably why she did it. And then she's like, oh, that's why she I did can't it. believe she hit me. Bitch. Jump up, you won't get knocked down. Don't let the bougie miss fool you. Punk jump up to get beat down. We pop Is that the words? Anyways. Getting nothing but a beat down. Sorry, Remy. We hope you get out of this. 
Um, be like Beyonce, don't respond. Free Remy. Future. Free Remy and Asalaamu As Alaikum, power to the people. Oh, but I wanted to say also, it's a lot of shit behind it. I'm thinking that it didn't happen because she said that there is supposedly proof that she wasn't even there. Like she's saying that it happened at a specific time. And at that time, she wasn't there. Maybe she and also, Britney apparently did not go to uh, the police or a lawyer. She went to a civil lawyer, which is people that sue you personally. So but obviously, she, she has an ulterior motive. Yeah. It's not about putting Remy in jail. She wants to get that Bren. She's probably not smart enough to know that if to do a civil case, you have to have a police report. Mm. Probably. So she probably wanted the money, but they I mean, know how far she had to Everyone who it. discusses the story, they're like, Britney who? That doesn't matter. Brittany, but no, my point, Brittany, listen, uh, my point is she is nobody. That's why she's doing this. Yeah. She I, needs to get the clout. She needs to get the money. Yeah. And that's, and that's fine. But if, if, there's legit, if there's legitimacy to it, if Remy did push her, punch her in her face, it's kind of like you, you let a sheep disturb a lion. Well, it's facts. So she shouldn't have responded. I mean, I think that that's neither here nor there. It's pretty it's obvious. She has a newborn child. Everything is going great in her life right now. She should not have responded that way. I'm referring to, you know, what happened after. Or yeah. the fact that, you know, somebody would be cruel enough to, you know, you, you set this shit up. You, you're the reason why you got punched in, my, in your eye. Yeah, you, and then you, 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 you set the bait. And right, I, and exactly. I for it. Exactly. Got it. And That's I hate true. people like that. Sorry, Remy. Sorry you have to go through this. Who's next? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. You, sorry, <laughs> I froze. <laughs> Have you guys heard about the pregnant twins? Okay, so all I saw was like a little video on <laughs> Shade Room or some shit, which I don't really like to give Shade Room no props because Cardi told us not to. Cardi told us not to. <laughs> <laughs> we fuck with Cardi heavy. <laughs> Team Cardi. Team but Cardi. <laughs> that's where I think I saw it. So I don't know the story behind it. I don't know anything. Well, I just want to get okay, into it's the, a dude. the situation. Okay, let me say what I've learned. Okay. So oh, you know about it? More details? I know, I know details. Okay, put me on. And math knows. Oh, math? All Even right. though he's over there. All right, so go ahead. <laughs> so this guy took a picture with two different girls in the same outfit outside the same courtroom and was like, I got twins pregnant. No, oh, perfect. He said, this guy who is a personal trainer, Browning. <laughs> is it you? Mm -mm. Yo, it look like you, and nigga. It look like you, bro. Wow. wow. <laughs> Son, it really look like him. Bro, look at it. Oh, so, go ahead. It says this guy who is a personal trainer got two pre two twin got twins pregnant and they're all perfectly fine with it. One is due in May and the other is due in June. But well, I thought you said you had details. No, that wasn't the details. I'm can't with you. <laughs> Yo, I'm done. What? <laughs> Bitch, everybody know that part. That, that was the detail. <laughs> I hate you. You were so annoying. I was shocked. Like, oh, shit, you know something? What happened? You're not only about that current exactly affairs. Exactly. You don't know no, nothing about no pop culture. If y'all ain't sending it to me, I don't know about oh, it. Oh, my God. But. All right. I have my opinion. Oh, please share. I think this is something that's very opinionated. <laughs> Let's talk about it. First and foremost, I feel like, you know, twins are weird already. Why? Because they, <laughs> you know I'm going with this? <laughs> so, okay, let's say it's true. Mm -hmm. First and foremost. Is let's say they're not showing? You never know. You know the world we live in, like Khalil was saying earlier, we live in a world where people do things on purpose to get viral and to have recognition. So you let's know, just. If that is what life has come to. It has. You're We've reached. having We're reached. another nigga. Yeah. We're reached. Oh, We're man, reached. That's crazy. So, uh, no, she could be pregnant with somebody else. Oh, the whole thing a, is a yeah, lie. Yeah, the whole thing is a lie. You making, oh, I thought you were trying to say she got pregnant on purpose. No, 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 no. no. Let's say the whole thing is a lie, but that's not okay. what we're saying. Let's say the whole thing is true, right? First of all, twins are weird. So maybe in their twindom. <laughs> Can you, you're, you're annoying me. <laughs> Can you, so what are you saying? It's so funny to me because you know why? That means y'all will both suck in the same dick. Y'all will both fuck in the same dick. Y'all are sisters. Obviously, it's a whole weird thing. So th that's what I'm saying. Maybe that's why they were with it because they're twins and twins are weird. Oh, you mean they have no problem sharing niggas? Yeah, because they feel like one and they're both one. They consider themselves as one. I guess. That's possible. I've heard of twins that share niggas. Not share, but you know, like they'll pretend. To be the other. To be the other. And then they'll both. Maybe they did that to him. They could have been. Maybe. Maybe it's the twins that was in on it. Maybe. maybe. Twins, I mean, and maybe. Was like, it's like oh, this guy is cute. And first when of I was all, baby. oh, me too. And you know, ain't nothing <laughs> like a puff puff pass. Ain't nothing. But that's crazy. They're gonna be brother cousins. Or sister cousins. Or sister cousins. Or sister brother cousins. 
But you know, it may be in a puff puff pass. You know, ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. And maybe one sister was like, "Yo, yo, that's nuts." Raekwon Jaquana. Why you gotta be Raekwon Jaquana? Why? It's a Raekwon Jaquana scenario. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> that's why. Raekwon Jaquana. You ain't that's shit. A good dick. And then the other twin pie was like miserable, like people we know. It was like, <laughs> I ain't get no dick. And then the one twin was like, <laughs> You can hold him. You can hold. You I let you hold something. You can hold. Just pretend to be me. And she was with it. She was with it. You're right. You're right. You're right. Because even on a puff puff pass with us and friends. Listen, then, homie, I hope you got some money. You better have some sh money. Babies ain't he cheap. Is. He's going viral. He's going to get the coins just now. Listen, just because you go viral when you're getting money right off the bat now, come on. That's the problem. That's what niggas think. No, but remember, when you're thinking about just getting some dick, when you're horny, as a woman now, when you're just horny, you ain't fucking a minute, and a homegirl, a friend, a sister. Uh, <laughs> we ain't never share no dicks. No, we ain't never share no dicks. No. But we had a friendship situation that we know friends who share dicks. That's true. So where they be, we've had our homegirls be like, yo, son, that nigga got some good dick. Facts. And then the other homegirl's like, yo, I ain't have no hope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, oh, we a minute? <laughs> Me, I did that. <laughs> I ain't had no dick in a minute. Yeah. It happens. It happens. Uh, and you be like, puff, puff, pass. Pass that nigga on. I mean, but ain't no babies or no feelings involved. But like, a fuck, a, a, fuck. a fuck is a fuck. fuck is a fuck, yeah, but babies could have came. You never know. But also, like you said, true, right. They could have fucked just to fuck, and then now it's a baby involved. And I was like, hey, fuck it. And then uh, we could do. Let's, right. let's go viral. Right. Let's, have this baby Let's see if a koi, you ain't got no money. Jake or Come on, Raquan. What's his name? Raquan Jacoya. Joya, whatever the fuck. <laughs> Let's make a coin off of this. Right. And like, oh, this could be a reality show. Yeah, Let's do it. it could. You know what? You're right. And that's probably what happened. Now when you break it down like that, I see it seems I can see it happening now. Yeah. Break it they're broken down like that. Because yeah. twins are weird like that. They will share dick. Exactly. So I feel like that's probably what happened in their defense. All right, what else we got? <laughs> What's up, Kalia? What's our next topic? Moving on. Because that, that board look empty. What you doing? <laughs> oh, damn. We done passed the Billboard Awards. Oh, so yeah. You want to touch, touch? You know, I didn't watch it. All I saw was Cardi's um, Moschino dresses. Everybody. You know, let me tell you about the Billboard Awards for me personally. Everybody looked like they got their outfits on Picking <laughs> Av Avenue. Mm-hmm. And uh, when they went on Pickett Avenue, like, let's say I was one of the, I don't even know the people that name. Let's say I was one of the artists, and then I looked at you, and I said, oh, shit, Marie over here. Let me go to the next door. Next door. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I ain't gonna hold you. That's why when you said Sierra was a fly milf, I kind of was side-eyeing. I mean, she I respect Sierra for her level up on the husbandry, but her style is whack. Sorry. You think so? Yeah. She's very basic. No, I think I love Sierra's style. Really? I love her I'm style. I'm shocked. I love her style. I feel like she always like brings it. I no? don't. Not at all. I think she's very basic. What's no? Mm. I disagree. Well, we have disagree all the time. It's all right. Let's hope when she invites me to the dinners, you can come. I, don't know I'm, I mean, <laughs> I don't even know. I'll I'll dress her. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll dress her. So, for me personally, the Billboard Awards was a flop. Yeah, as you can see, I didn't really from post B. too much on the Fashion Addicts. I yeah. liked Cardi's look. I didn't really... I didn't love Cardi's look I didn't look love either. it, but I loved her abs. <laughs> I was here for that. And I'm here for the fact that her and Offset look happy. I respect that. She was giving Columbia ad, ab etching. Yeah. Which I'm okay I mean, with because we, we, we want to go to Columbia and get Both her looks were from Moschino. And, um, yeah. I mean, it looked like, like Indian royalty. I think that I was feel the vibe like she, she should have wore her birthday. Like Indian wedding. I feel like her birthday outfit was better than this one. I agree. She should have wore her birthday I don't think outfit. anyone really showed up and showed out for the Billboard Nobody. Awards. Yeah, not really. Drake, Drake was looking like a snack. Drake, Drake was, was looking like a zaddy. It's hold. that beard. Yo, Drake. Even his annoying Canadian accent. He, he has an accent. Get it. I never heard him talk. You don't even know what's happening in the world. Sorry. <laughs> I love him, though. Uh-huh. Ask Back me off. what I love. That's Bones. Things. Oh yeah. Back up. Oh, I don't love him. Sorry. Yes, with the baby's I, I'm gonna take a. I've already felt the wrath of taking one of her niggas. <laughs> <laughs> so don't take the other one, please. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to do that. I don't yes, do that. we don't want no problems. We love you, Bung. We mm -hmm. love you, Bung. Sorry, no beef. What's the next topic? <laughs> Fuck boy time. My favorite time. Oh wait. Billboard Awards. Congratulations to Cardi. She won Mad Awards. Congratulations to Drake. He won Mad Awards. And that's it. Yeah. All right, so next, fuck boy, fuck boy time. Woohoo! You supposed to be doing the sound effect too from Delora. My clap is kind of off. 
And the Wi-Fi sucks, so yeah, I'm kind of like. I told you don't take it from Delora. That's all I want to say about that. <laughs> I mean, she wants to do the video. I respect it. I mean, it's the hand claps. I'm gonna give him. Give me a second. Fuck boy time. So okay, yes. See. Wow, you got claps. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. So we're gonna talk about tonight being open, which is great. Talking about the twins and just. Being open to uh, your freak side, your freak side, and not even understanding it or knowing it, but just being into it. So not even what understanding it like you could not know that you're a freak. Let me tell you something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop a jewel. Well, I shouldn't even be giving y'all this information. Men in the room, close your ears. Close your ears. Math. It's close. He didn't even hear you. <laughs> <laughs> You can get any woman to be a freak as long as she is secure in the relationship. It's true. If she feels like you are all about her, she will do anything for you. Yes. Anything. Anything. You make her feel secure as a woman, that's it. That's all it takes. That's true. That's all and, and, it takes. And making a woman feel secure is not a hard task. It's, it's not really like a not. week, two week, three week, five month, nine month, a year thing. You can make a woman feel secure within the first night, the first hours. And that's why some men know how to fuck on the first date and some don't. And that's why the men that don't know how to fuck on the first date is so defensive. Like, oh, if you wait a year or if you wait a day, what is the difference? The difference is you don't know how to fucking do the difference. The difference is you thirsty, nigga. Calm that's down. the difference. You don't know how to get the pussy on the first. That's the difference. Go ask a nigga that does. <laughs> so. <laughs> don't ask me. Don't ask, mad at me. Don't ask me. Ask him. <laughs> fuck out of here. I don't know what that nigga did. <laughs> I was fucking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, I, and I love him. Well, one thing led to another. Next thing you know, I'm like, <laughs> I'm, next thing you know, I'm taking dick. <laughs> taking dick and begging to suck it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> next thing you know, you're taking dick and begging to suck it. Come on, people. Where's, Get it together. Where's my hand clap set? <laughs> I'm only <always> not working. Fucking <laughs> Wi Fi. I can't. You know what? Oh, anyway, man. Stop. So, let's talk about one of the times. Oh, well, that's not even, oh, that is the first. Okay, so I dated this guy one time, right? And <laughs> My clap's madly. No, no, I'm over it. <laughs> Go ahead. So I dated this guy one time, right? And he had a club, right? So at first I was dating him, he was like, oh, you know. We're now you got to say, you, listen, you have to be. I'm going to say it. All right, a, cl a club like a club you go hang out and drink at. Yeah, it was that's how that's how he presented it. Okay. First. He was like, okay, so right, so then say that then. So be like, so okay. So he had a club that you know he was like you know oh me and my boys we gonna we have a dark side meeting. Right. Right. And the name of the club was the dark side. So at first I was like oh, okay the dark side I'm thinking oh because it's nighttime because it's always nighttime. Because <laughs> it's nighttime. <laughs> You know when you're young and you're dumb. Of course. Listen, I've been young, I've been young and dumb for quite some time. Because <laughs> I'm 14. Hello, Browning. Thank you. Free training. <laughs> um, <laughs> free training. So I was like, okay, it's something that he does at night, and that's why they call it the dark side, right? right? So long story short, the dark side turned out to be like a sex party that they would have. And him and his friends would come together <laughs> At the back, at whoever the bachelor was at the time, because they would like turn gr trade girls in, like they would have. Like let's say you had got a girlfriend, and mm -hmm. the, the dark side meeting would no longer be at your house. Then now it would be at. Oh, it take turns to whoever's turn. single. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna so host it at your house this weekend because. Exactly. So whoever's. Vance is wifed up now. Exactly. So now that he met her, he can no longer have a um, dark side party. Right. So that's how that worked. And where the dark side was basically was a sex party. So when he first met me, he was like, you know, oh, I have a meeting. So I'm going to see you tomorrow. Mm. I'm going to see you tomorrow. I'm going to see you tomorrow. But the thing with men, and a lot of women don't know this, you see when you give them the pussy properly, and you know, tick tock and brock, brock, and All right, bum, bum. close your legs. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to teach y'all this. <laughs> Whew, anywho, he don't want to go to the dark side party no more. But the friends are on him, so he feels bad. So now mm -hmm. he's telling you what dark side is. So he's like, do you want to come? And you wanted to be the supportive. Of course, you. <laughs> Me wanted to you be your the fake freak self was like, oh, yes. That sounds like fun. Let's go. Yeah, let's go to the dark side party. Uh -huh. 
So we go to the dark side party. Mm-hmm. I want to say, just to be extra, the clock strike 12, uh-huh. and everybody got naked. Okay, that and sounds I was like, good. Oh shit. And they just start fucking. And me and him were sitting down watching everybody fuck. And I was like, so this is what you were doing? <laughs> right, this is the meeting? This is the meeting? This is the clubhouse right. meeting that you were doing? And he was like, yeah, and he told me the truth. And it was all good until now. Now I'm in my feelings. <laughs> now, what, wait, eight, ten years later <laughs> when y'all are together and he's married <laughs> with two kids <laughs> and you're divorced and currently in a three-way relationship? I'm not. Three-way. <laughs> with who? All the three of your boyfriends. <laughs> I only have one boyfriend. Please don't mix me and him. I mean, I thought you kept it real with everybody. Not with the boyfriend. You'll keep it real with wifey. Oh, true that. True that. True that. True that. True that. True that. True that, true that. True that. My bad, my bad, my bad. You right. You're bright. I love him. Exactly. Don't keep it real with the one you love. Facts. You lie to them because you love them. Exactly. Marie, come on. I thought my I taught bad. you more already. Listen, my fuck girl, my fuck girl days are long behind me. I've forgotten some of the code. It's okay. It's okay. You're young too. It's true. So go ahead. So that was what happened with, with um, Dark Side? The Dark Side. And that was my... Have you ever had a... Um, I mean, you're not going to give them details of the dark side besides just fucking really. and trading? Oh, just, just that one night that you showed? That was the one time I showed up. And then I want, Then the thing is, so if you've been... One of the things with men in general is they don't, they don't promote within. So if you come in, you fuck him on the first night, and he just wanted to fuck you, and now to him you're a whore, you're just a hoe. Mm-hmm. He told your friends. He told his friends you a hoe. His right. friends have you have a hoe. You a hoe. Right. So once you a hoe, it's very hard for a man to then promote the hoe to be a girlfriend. So, and that is one of the problems. So if a man now, not knowing what you're bringing to the table, uh-huh. and prematurely brings you to the table, not knowing that you're smart, and then you know, tick tock and click clock and <laughs> hello. Right? All that, all, all those that, things. All those things. <laughs> you gotta get it. All right. And then now he falls in love. He falls in love with you. The girl that he brought, he told his friends, is just a fuck, so she could come to the party. Mm. And now she's not just a fuck. Right. She's his girlfriend. So now... Happens all the time. Happens all the time. So now, the other friends don't want you, the new girlfriend, to hang out with their girlfriends. Of course not. Because you are going to teach the new girlfriends how to read. (laughs) Oh, is Massa? (laughs) Massa's coming. Put down the book. (laughs) Exactly. <laughs> and you know, that's what they say. That's why they didn't want blacks to learn how to read. Because once you know better, you do better. Obviously. And if she knows better, and she's going to teach right. her other females I'm Right, exactly. Better, no, yeah, I get it, obviously. Yeah, so that's, that's why. And that, that becomes a problem in the relationship. Because now the other friends now are, are alienating him because he wifed the hoe. But you know what I tell niggas that's chasing their niggas? Are you gay? Oh, okay. You want this pussy or you want some dick? Oh, all right. You think the thing is with that Marie is the the thing with that concept is is no pussy like no pussy. It's nothing your pussy could do that could compete. What I gotta do with anything? Because the anticipation of being out with his friends means that he's gonna get new pussy. So, so when niggas is with their guy friends, that's all they're doing. Nine out of ten, yes. Okay, and that's okay. So for, for and for it to come to the point where you have to say, "Is he? Are you gay?" Not even. I mean, I say it like that. Well, I'm only giving a hypothetical. No, no, but in a hypothetical. My man's trained. Yes, okay. good trainer. TikTok. Exactly. Right. The TikTok and the TikTok and the, all of that. Right. And the Rick Rock. You don't even know about that one. Right. I ain't know Rick had a rock. I didn't know. I didn't know. Y'all teach me that one. We talk about that later. We talk about that later. We talk about later. We talk about the past, Marie. Right. Before we found the Lord. Uh, before we found before Jesus. Before we found Jesus. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Anyways, so go ahead. The thing is now, for you to say, "Oh, you're gay." No, he's not gay. He's looking for new pussy. Well, they, that's a whole other conversation. If I feel like my niggas is out chasing, like they really feel like if it's a real argument, mm-hmm. and niggas is like, "Yo, I really want to be with my boys." That's a whole different conversation. I had a guy say that I'm to not, me. I'm not really having, I'm not trying to have that argument. Like, first of all, I mean, yeah, remember we're I'm not talking about going to be. We're talking past. Don't, you can't, don't stay in future mode. We mean in future. In the past, so that's what I'm saying. In the, right now, here today, you and I are never going to have that argument with him. Right. Never. In life. Because that means he is gay. But in the past, five years ago, ten years ago, where, where we did have conversations with niggas, and we were like, yo, you want to be with your boys and not me? 
you're gay. Yeah, I he, did say that. Yeah, because he wanted to be with his boys because he was going to go chase to try to get new pussy. Yeah. And that's I what still that call is. you gay, though. Yeah, but I don't care. You call me anything you want. I'm gay. Yeah, I'm gay. All right, bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> new pussy. Right. So, fuck what you say. It's all about this I'm new so pussy. I'm so glad those days are behind me. Ugh. I wouldn't even recognize that girl now. Right? There's no way. So it's hard to tap back into her. It's so hard. But we have to to be able to help because the thing is, how are you going to help anyone or guide anyone if, you're, if you don't know this, this? I mean, well, the obvious thing is, like, if you feel like you have to chase your nigga, if, this is my thing. I used to always say this. That's a sign. If you have to beg your nigga or you're having a conversation or argument, rather, about spending time with your dude, that should not be your argument. No. If I have to argue with you about hanging out with me, that's a problem. Yeah. So and, and, that's and, the first clue right there, ladies. And hello, ladies. So if he doesn't want to hang out with you, if it's a problem, if it feels like this is happening, right. every time y'all have a plan, he got another plan. Right. And then a lot of things, that, another thing that guys do too that irks my soul is that they have great <coughs> excuses. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Marie swallows. <laughs> <laughs> You know you can't afford the equipment if you're real kid. Yeah, not me dating. Yo, you're so dumb. Because I'm so dainty and I light. do, though. But anyway. <laughs> um, so go ahead. I I lost my mic. What happened? My hair? Fix me. <laughs> I can't oh, see you're it. Oh, God. Oh, wait. There you go. Okay, thank you. Thanks, ladies. <laughs> Losing you, Marie. <laughs> Sorry. You sure you know what? What? <laughs> you say you sure what? <laughs> Nothing. Sorry, guys. Where were we? I was just choking. <laughs> what are you talking about? Kalia, where were we? And we I've lost my um train of thought. Train of thought. Because I was so worried about you. Oh, you love me. I do. Thank you. I do. Thanks for the concern. It's true. So yes, long story short, ladies, if you feel like you are forcing yourself to if you feel like you're forcing yourself on top of your man to be with your man right. or the man that you think is your man. If you've made two or three dates and he's found, oh, great excuses. Oh, his oh, mom right. is sick. Oh, his friend of 25 years got out of jail. <laughs> 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 My man coming home a day, you know what I'm saying? I gotta meet him at the jail. Oh, <laughs> his father. That's my man's. Oh, his father He held me down leg. when he was uh, out here. Oh, he had to. Pay more. I don't know. Whatever the excuse is, if you are not the priority and he is not willing to stop everything for you, like the great, 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 and still living and kicking, Barris Hammond said, what can you do to stop a man from trying? Because I <laughs> want to know. Say I want to know now. Sing it. Amen. And on that note, we are going to end this show. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. I said I want to oh. know now. Man from trying. Ooh, ooh, I'm not with that big bronze man. And that sexy dress. You I showed him dress me. Don't stand up, girl. All right. <laughs> totally impossible. Anyways, yes, Barris. Barris every day. All right, so that's our show for tonight. <clears throat> I love this. It was good. I was into it. Let's give us our social media. So, of course, you can find us on thefashionaddicts.com. And also follow us on Instagram at thefashionaddicts. And follow Fashion and Fuck Boys. Know you. On Instagram. Yes. And Fashion and Fuck Boys on YouTube. Yes. Yo, we need us some subscribers. Y'all wildin'. What's up with the subscribe? Subscribe. What the fuck? And then like and comment. Hello. All right, all right Ike. I mean, come on. Come on, honey. You get more bees with honey. Oh, okay. Guys, please subscribe, like, and comment on our channel, Fashion and Fuck Boys. Much better. Thank you. You're so well behaved. I know. That's why you engage and we not. <laughs> You're a good woman. <laughs> and of she course, to ring, shop, shop, at, <laughs> shop at the Fashion app. You, you, you gotta keep the crazy undercover. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Bring it on them when you know they're already in love and you know, they, like they can't an, escape. Can we get a quick example before we sign off? I mean, some of Pisces and my emotions are all over the place. I don't want to scare nobody. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. So, fashion and fuck boys, no you, FCK boys. And of course, the man, the company, <laughs> the man, the myth, and the mystery. <laughs> <laughs> but why he looked up? Right. Like you know. <laughs> <laughs> S Street Media, who brings, who makes this all possible for us, and once again, our sponsor. Where's our flyer? Where's Carrie? 
she came late and had to leave. We gonna have, I'm gonna fight her. Checkmate boxing. So number one, a six month plan for sixty dollars a month, or you can do the ninety days plan for seventy dollars a month, <laughs> or you can schedule daily sessions for forty dollars a session. Contact Ralphie at 1917-957-8258. And his email is, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> <Raya>? <laughs> <laughs> 